Hey coders and welcome to a brand new playlist on this Google Apps Script course. In this season, which will be season 15, we'll be learning a little bit more about the Data Studio service, starting out with this introductory episode, where we'll be covering its parent class Data Studio app. So the Data Studio service is used to build community connectors. And community connectors are a bit of software that connects your Data Studio platform with the data sources that you're trying to display on the Data Studio UI. So then Data Studio app is somewhat of a misnomer actually, because it doesn't actually directly connect with Data Studio itself. It's used solely to help facilitate the process of building out these community connectors. And then after they are built out, then that's when Data Studio will connect and access these community connectors. So the nice thing about Google and Data Studio is they have actually gone out and pre-built out a lot of community connectors for common use cases, such as if you have data in Google Sheets or Google BigQuery, then Google and Data Studio have already built out these connectors for your use. But sometimes you'll have data in, in sources that are more unique to your situation. And in those cases, you'll have to build out your own custom community connector. And that is when you will want to use Data Studio App. So some of the common direct use cases of Data Studio App are to set up authentication, set up configuration, and define the schema. So all of this will make more sense as we progress through this playlist. But for now, let's all start off on the same page and get more familiar with the Data Studio app in the code. Before we actually begin coding, let's overview Data Studio and the process flow for these community connectors. So up here, I have a sample Data Studio report. And as you can see already, this is a business intelligence dashboard. And it looks like we are showing data from some Google Analytics report. So we have different metrics displayed here, but we also have nice interactive charts and we can actually go and click on some of these charts. And once we do, such as if we're going to filter by India, then Data Studio at this moment is connecting with the with the community connector, it's requesting a certain data and then our community connector or the Google Analytics community connector is going to send out requests to get that data and then send it back to this Data Studio UI. So this isn't going to be, again, a Data Studio tutorial. So this is all you need to know for now. But again, this is a Google Analytics community connector and Google offers a lot more. So they have gone out and again, pre-built out a lot of common use case connectors, such as one for Google Sheets or Google Ads, BigQuery, File Upload. And all of these are pre-approved or these are made custom by Google itself. And if, if they haven't made one that you need, we also have a area for partner connectors and this is a third party connector as such. So, so maybe you wanted data from Adobe Analytics or maybe you wanted data from any of these places right here. Then these are, uh, these are third party connectors that you can use and they can be just as helpful. But let's say that you couldn't even find your data source amongst these community connectors, these partner connectors, then you can go out and build your own. So let's look at the process flow of a custom built community connector. So here is what happens whenever you are connecting to again, a custom community connector. So the user will select the connector in data studio. So again, they'll come up here and they'll select any one of these, or if it's, it's your own, they'll come and select yours. Then the first, the first method or the first function that Data Studio is going to look for in your community connector code is get auth type. All four of these functions have to be named this way because that is what Data Studio will be looking for. So we'll get the auth type, auth type and then after that we'll get the config and then after that we'll get the schema, we'll show the Data Studio dashboard, and then once they add a chart or filter out the data, then we are going to call this function get data. So again, we need to include all four of these separate functions in our community connector code. So let's go and do that right now. So instead of calling this one again, my function, we should call it 
get auth type, and then we'll make three more functions. All right, so the second one will be get config. The third one is going to be get schema, and then finally get data. So again, these four functions we need in our code if we are going to follow the uh, the protocol of the uh, of the data studio. So here are our four functions, and we're going to be filling these out in later episodes. But there's one more thing that we need, and that is an actual community uh, connector uh, object. So we'll say const cc for community connector, and then we'll say data studio app. And as you can tell, and as you can see again, there's only one method off of the data studio app, and that is create community connector. That's the only thing you can do with the data studio app. So we'll click on it now, and that is all you need. If we go and save this and run it, again, there is no uh, authentication that we are going to need to provide. It's just the uh, data studio app create community connector. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of this video for now. And then we will pick this up in the next video with get auth type. But I hope you enjoyed this one and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the very next episode.